Hello guys and girls and welcome to week 10 of the GBA. We are facing Shady Penguin and his New York Mankeys. Another cross-conference match. He, that means he's another conference than us. So the, for the player race this match is not as important as the up, two upcoming matches versus Tup and Geo which are in our division. But like you probably know we came from a very important win last week versus Dan. A 3-0 which grants us the number one spot in our division with, but with only one differential point ahead. So we need to keep winning and we need to keep winning high enough so that you keep, uh, yeah, stay in front of Dan because I can't really build on Dan losing at some point because Dan and he's doing very good so far and if you have built on others losing to keep your spot you don't really deserve that spot so my plan is to keep on winning so I can grant the number one spot, grant the uh, safe playoff spot and get a message to all the people out of there that I'm the number one division, number one in the conference and number one in the GB in general. <laughs> but uh, I mean we will see about that in the, in the playoffs. But yeah, spoilers, uh, I will I will mention it. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that's another story. For now, we are facing Shady, and yeah, do the usual shout outs. Shout outs to Isaac and Kino for the beautiful art. Kino is responsible for the layout you're seeing right here, and shout out for the Isaac for the beautiful thumbnail. He does all the thumbnails in the GBA, so thanks to them, uh, yeah, thanks to them, all this can look pretty and stylish and all this good stuff. So yeah, definitely shout out to them. Then next up, shout out to Tom, our GBA analyst for Jenning my team. He does a very reliable job on Jenning and yeah, he does a good job on analyzing. He does a good job on uh, on Jenning teams. So yeah, thanks to you again. And as last, shout out to the Don Fanatic for uh, recording this match for me. Like probably most of you know, I do not own a capture card. I cannot do live comms. I am um, yeah, I need people to record the uh, matches so I can do post comms. And uh, Jack, the Don Fanatic, agreed to that. He is part of the PPL Another League. So if you're not content with only GBA League content, definitely give them a look. The PPL will start, I think, in one or two weeks. And yeah, it's 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 great stuff there. Definitely give them a look. But yeah, now for this match, let's stick into team preview. We are done with shoutouts. Uh, for my team in general, like you probably know, I do team builder every week. So link to that in the description. So if you want to more insight, why I brought that, why I brought this, what are his threats, what's my plan against that, what I expect from him, blah blah blah, all this fun stuff, you can check out in the team builder, which I, like I already said, link below and below. But for all which don't have the time for that or just don't care enough to watch a team builder of mine, he has a shot. Short intro to my team. First of all, we got physically defensive uh, Rocky Harvard Tangrove with Earthquake, Knockoff, Giga Drain, and Hidden Power Ice. Uh, Max Special Attack, Modest, Bulky, Assault, their Slow King with Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Scald, and Psychic. Mixed Offensive, Absol with Ice Beam, Knockoff, Sucker Punch, and Zen Headbutt. Uh, utility, Bulky, Special Cobalion with Flash Cannon, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, and Stealth Rock. Rock Polish Landerus with Yachi Berry and Psychic Earth Power Knockoff Rock Polish. And as last, Safety Goggles Special Crowbat with Nasty Blood, Shadow Ball, Air Slash, and Giga Drain. So, looking at his team, he brought the Mega Venusaur, Sharpedo, the Road to Meat, the Elegant Zam, Jirachi, and Melodic. Not too many surprises, he brought, brings these six a lot. I see no Rapiria, which is sad for my Crowbat. I see no um, Granbull, which is great for my Mega Absol. And I see no Miss Mages, which probably means that. Um, yeah, I don't really know what his check to Landers is then, because like special defensive, uh, what you call it, Rotom does not really work because of Rock Slide and stuff like that. I do not pack Rock Slide this time, so it may be special defensive take on my Landers. I mean, of course it's difficult to find a check to Landers because it's just so threatening in the format, but that's just what I noticed right away. So if I can set up with Landers, I can have a field day. Uh, if I weaken his Mega Venusaur and his Melodic a bit, Absol can have a field day because Rotom does not like taking the hit Ab and uh, Trapedo dies after 50% to a Sucker Punch, and uh, Alakazam dies to Sucker Punch, uh, obviously this will be Sash probably, and Jirachi dies to Sucker Punch too, if it's scarfed. Um, like I already say, I expect them physically offensive uh, speed boost Sharpedo, which he brought close to every week, uh, Sash, Alakazam, Scarf, Jirachi. The Rotom and Melodic, I don't know which one is which defensive side, I will have to scout for that, and same with Venusaur, he, I have no idea what Venusaur is, he may be offensive like last week versus John, so I have to scout what the uh, what the purpose of Mega Venusaur is, if it's offensive, if it's defensive, and then in, on which side, same goes for the Rotom and these uh, Melodic, I have to find out if they're defensive on which side, Rotom may even be offensive, I doubt that Melodic is offensive, and Jirachi is probably scarfed, but I cannot be sure about that, and yeah, there's some scouting I have to do until I can sweep or something, but yeah, I decide to lead with my Tangrove because I expect the Jirachi lead in case it's scarfed, and if he leads with his Rotom for Voltage Momentum, I have a safe switch into my, or not safe switch, I have a switch into my Slowking, which can take any hit from this, and depending on uh, how much damage does, I already know if it's an offensive or defensive one, 
So let's dig into the match. I leave with Shady. Uh, I leave with Shady Penguin. I face Shady Penguin, of course. I leave with Tangrove. Shady is issuing a challenge, and he leads. I leave with Spatzler, and he does not leave with Riachi. He does not leave with Rotom. He decides to lead with his Melodic, which is great for me. I definitely have the lead up. Lead adventure here. I, I here I want to get some damage on the Mega Venusaur, which is definitely coming in. So I go for the HP Ice, so I can see how much damage it does and scout what kind of Mega Venusaur it is. Because Giga Drain won't do like one or two percent, which I can't really build on. Like even an offensive one would take less. So I go for the HP Ice. It does about twenty to thirty percent, which shows me that this is a bulky Mega Venusaur with a bit special defense investment. Like a fully physically defensive Venusaur would not take the hit so well. But yeah, I have a safe switch into this into my uh, Crobat. I resist both his stabs. He can put me to sleep because I have safety goggles. And I can scare him out with his stab flying move. So let's see what he goes for. He indeed goes for the Sleep Powder. So the first time for the Bush Duff, his safety goggles actually work on my Crobat. So that's nice. But I don't know what to switch into this is. If it's, if it's a Melodic, if it's a Rotom, I will have to scout for that. I know he will switch out. I don't have U-Turn and I don't want to reveal yet that I'm a special set and just go for Air Slash. I want to keep that as more as a surprise. So I switch out to my uh, Slow King because I can take on both. He goes on his Rotom and now is the time to scout if it's a defensive or an offensive Rotom. He goes for the Wall Switch and that's definitely not an offensive Rotom. Like I can see it does barely, not even the third, so I can regenerate everything from this back. And I just go for the Safe Scald. Trying to catch a burn or something, or just hit a Rotom in case he goes to will or something like that. I go deep for the Scald, catch the uh, Mega Venus on the switch in, and Scald does not do too much because it's of course a Mega Venus and I do not catch the burn. I, I, I doubt he will go for a Sleep Powder here again. I like no way he will go for Sleep Powder again. He just saw that I have Safety Guard as probably to switch in. But it's shady. He out, it seems he outpredicted me there and he goes for the Sleep Powder on my, on my Cobalion. So I want to go into Cobalion there because he probably couldn't hit me with Sludge Bomb Gator and I can refuse that. And I want to get up in Rocks because one thing I didn't mention in the, in the team period, he does no way of the removal and I want to wear it on this Rotom in, in general his team. He here goes into his uh, into his uh, Rotomeat. I just want to burn a turn of sleep because I want to scout if this thing can touch me. Is he at HP Fire or like the Earthquake for my Cobalion? He does. He seems he has neither. So I can burn one turn of sleep and go into my uh, Slow King, which already has proven to be a safe switch in this thing. He just goes into Volt Switch for some momentum, but like I see, I, I could regenerate all the back from, uh, all the damage back from uh, Volt Switch. Uh, Volt switch so this is a safe switch, and he goes into his Mega Shapido here. I think yeah, Bruce the Mega Shapido, and I have safe switch for this too. Even if he goes for Ice Fang. I can just go into my Tangle right here, take any hit, get some Rocket Helmet damage on this and scare it out with the Giga Drain. And one thing I want to do right now is I want to bait out the Mega Venusaur because I want to get my Cobalion in, burn some more turns of these and get my Rock Sub. Getting Rock Sub is at the moment my main priority to wear down his team in general and especially the Rotom Heat because that's the thing I need more damage on so that my Crobat can pull through versus this man. So I go, just go for the uh, safe Giga Drain here I think. But he does not go into the uh, um, Venusaur, he does go into his Jirachi, which obviously is with the Giga Drain too, but I don't mind that at all. Tangrove is my thing to deal with Jirachi, so I just can just stay in here, go for a safe knockoff, uh, catch the Jirachi, get rid of his item in case he was a fire or ice punch, catch the something on the switch, and of course it won't do nothing to Mega Venusaur, but that's the thing I want to have out, so I can get my Cobalion in. He decides to just go for U-turn, I can get some more Rocky Helmet damage on him, and it does nothing in world super effective. I love Tangrove, how physically bulky it can be. But yeah, I, like I said, I go for the knockoff here, getting rid of any item that comes in. He does not go into his Mega Venus, so he does go into his uh, Rotom Heat here. I get rid of his leftovers, proving that's indeed more of a bulky variant. And like I said, I can just go into my uh, into my Sloking here and yeah, sponge any hit. If he goes to Widow with Overheat, Wall Switch, Thunderbolt, and scam out with his Gold. He indeed goes for the Volt. Uh, no, he goes for the Hidden Power Ice here, probably predicting my Landris. So, uh, yeah, but I have no need to make such a risky play. I can just go to my Sloking. It's already proven that it can take this on, thing on very well. That he has Hidden Power Ice probably means that he doesn't have Pain Spread or he does not have will o so that's nice to know. But yeah, he also will switch here. And I go for Psychic here, trying to catch the Venusaur on the switch in, but no, he. Shardy. Shady. Shardy. Shady! God damn it! Why did I tell you Shardy? Shardy's another person. I go for Psychic here and get some decent damage on him, about 25%, after leftovers it's only 20%, and that shows me that this is a more physically defensive uh, Melodic, but a bit special attack invest a bit special defense investment. He is running some weird mixed defensive on his mons, so it's difficult to calc him, and it will come into play later, but yeah, for now, it, he has some weird mixed defensive going on. He, he seems to uh, br brought some thought into his defensive mons. But yeah, he goes for the Scald, I don't want to burn on my Slowking, I can't afford to burn on my Tangrove, which resists, of course, and I get scared of the Gear Drain, and, of course, what this thing baits in is the Mega Venusaur, and that's what I want to see. I just go with Safe Giga Drain here, no, no need to play around, like, Earthquake, Knock of Hidden Power Ice won't do anything to Mega Venusaur either way. And finally, he goes into that, I can go for Giga Drain right here. 
uh, do like no damage, uh, regenerate no damage, but for that I have Regenerator. And this is my time to go back into my Cobalion, take any hit this thing wants to throw at me, and finally get my rocks up, hopefully. So I will do just that. I go into my Cobalion, and he goes for the Synthesis. We're getting some health back. Yeah, I was getting one of this thing down, so smart move on Shady's part, preserving some health on this thing. It takes on various things on my team, like the Mega Absol, like the Tangrove, so he wants it healthy. Now he switches out. I just click the Stealth Rock button, hoping that I can wake up here. I already been one turn of sleep, maybe I can wake up here. And like you can see, I actually wake up here and can get at my rocks, and these are here to stay, which is great. Which means the uh, road time after another Stealth Rock position, it will be about 60%, and which, which is great for my... Uh, um, throw it, but yeah, once again, I don't need to make any plays here. I have a space switch into my uh, slow king, I can just go through that. He goes for the wall switch once again, and yeah, that's I'm, I'm keeping my slow king at full health, like you can see, it's not, nothing too scary. But yeah, he will switch which is out, I think, into into Shapiro, I think, again, right? No, into Jirachi, okay, yeah. He goes into Jirachi, gets rocks damage, and yeah, I have a safe switch into this leg, I already said. No need to, like, I don't need make any plays. My team is working out perfectly fine versus him at the moment. So I can go into my Spetsy, get some more Rocky Helmet damage on him. Ho probably going for a U-turn, because it would super effectively hit my uh, Slow King now, but he goes for the Thunder Punch, actually, which is even better for my Tangrove. He gets the 20% para here, which is, of course, annoying. It does not mind it on speeding stuff any, because Tangrove was not built to outspeed anything, but I may get parried, and that's, of course, something I don't look for, looking, I'm not looking forward to. But yeah, I just go for the self earthquake here because um, he may switch out and it will do more damage to the uh, Jirachi. And it will do more damage to the uh, Tangrove. I was not feeling like doing any double switches because, like I said, my team is so well prepared for his at the moment. He did, did not so show any surprises. So I think I can pull through with only safe plays. So I go into my Crobat here because, obviously, like I said, uh, resist both stats, immune to sleep powder. That's indeed the case. And this is the time I can go for Nasty Plot. I. After uh, the uh, Rotu comes in, I can take, hit, it, uh, hit it up with a plus two Shadow Ball, which will do a lot. And he actually doesn't go even go into his Rotom, he goes into his uh, Milotic. And after the Nasty Plot, I can easily go for a Giga Drain. I can take any hit from this thing, be it an Ice Beam, be it a Scald, be it... I mean, Ice Beam is strong as so they can test. And I can go for Giga Drain and do massive damage to this thing, because it's not fully special defensive. I just go for the Giga Drain, and like you can see, I do about 60% to this thing. Or fi more, more 50%. Uh, basically, he can't recover on me. He goes to the Ice Beam. I know I can take this. I'm just praying here for no crit and no freeze. Which do not happen. And what I should have done here was... Next up, followed up with Air Slash. Because it would have killed the Melody from this range. It would have hit more anything for more damage on the switch in. But I wanted some more health back on my Crobat. Because it's already under half. So I just go for the safe Giga Drain. He switches out now. Oh no, it is Rotom Heat. Pre probably predicting my Giga Drain. So I just go for that. Uh, get some... Decent damage actually on this, uh, on this, uh, what you call it, uh, Rotom. And I called it, this is not a special defensive Crobat. If he's physically defensive, Shadow Ball will take him out from here. So I go for the Shadow Ball and hit him up. But like you can see, it does not quite kill him. And that's where the mixed defense come into play. I'll talk to him later. He, had, he was physically defensive, but he had some special defense investment which made him lift the Shadow Ball. And I'm sorry, Crobat, I wanted to do you so much work, but sadly you go down here. But. Uh, Rota will down to rock, so basically you got one kill. It's not for the MVP race, but you basically got the kill. You got a huge amount of damage on the uh, on the Milotic, but so I'm already thankful for your effort. You bro, you, you opened up this team. Like as far as Water was getting very weakened, he only has his uh, Venus for healthy. So after the switch into Jirachi, I have a free switch into my Mega Absol, of course, can get him a Mega App and kill and go just go for safe Sucker Punch. He takes his Rotom here, smart move, dodging my Sucker Punch or like basically anything I wanted to. If I would have Sword Stance here, it would be scary, but I don't only Sword Stance. I did not brought Sword Stance so far, I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> but yeah, I just got Mega Wolf here. Go for the safe Sucker Punch. I, I, I'm sorry I'm not doing any plays here, but I, 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 this team is so wicked so far. It's a perfect example when your team building is pulling through. You don't need to make any plays. You can just play it safe because all your planning from before the match is working out. So, you're, yeah. As long as you don't get surprised. He did not show anything on the Mega Alakazam. On the Mega Alakazam. Alakazam yet, it's not a Mega. But yeah, he goes into his uh, Mega Venusaur, and I have, after my Crobat did count, I don't have a sleep, pot, a sleep switch in, or a sleep powder switch in anymore, and I thought, uh, Kowalian is probably the least uh, useful member right now, I, this, this is my sleep fodder, and I decided to find away this thing so that my Slowking outspeeds it, because I'm, barring Psychic on Slowking or Psychic on Landorus, uh, I have nothing really to really hurt this thing, like really, like, hit it up with a strong hit, and it would love to outspeed it with Slowking, and maybe I can get some Parax going on, who knows. I'm not playing for that, I definitely want Slowking to outspeed this thing. 
But yeah, here I just stay in and try to burn another turn of sleep and he goes for the gear range showing that he indeed can't hit me and I'm just clicking the uh, voltage button here hoping to wake up at some point and get a free switch into my slow king to hit him up with psychic and something like that. Because yeah, he can't touch me. Do you see the gear drain damage? I it like was like leftovers uh, recovers half of that damage again. He goes to gear drain again. It does a bit more because this time it got a crit. It did not matter too much because it still does not a lot. And yeah, I just click. I just keep clicking volt switch, trying to get out of here, trying to get a switch into my uh, into my slogan, which can take any hit from this because like I already know, this is a bulky mega Venus song. Giga drain won't do too much, and I can scare it off with a step psychic. I get a crit volt switch here, which like. I guess, I guess the use is be showing Chris, so we have found that. But yeah, I go into my slow king here, and like you can see, Giga Drain won't do much at all. He, that's Giga Drain, and does not, yeah, see like that, it does like 30%, so nothing I can regenerate her back. And I can scare off a Psychic, which I go for here, no need to play around. With the Psychic, I actually hit up the uh, Sakura, and this, with, after Rock's damage, this is very close to KOing the uh, Milotic. So I was hoping, come on, kill this thing, kill this thing, kill this thing, kill this thing. You did about 20 to 30 percent to kill this thing. Maybe I need a high roll, but I got a crit. I don't have to matter it uh, after we, after the match. We talked to each other, and it probably did not matter. But we are not quite sure on that, so it may have mattered. I'm not taking anything away. Maybe this mattered. So, but yeah, I, he has to freeze it into his Bruce again. I have my switch into that, which is my tank growth. So even if he goes for ice tank, it won't do a lot. So he actually pretty Dicks me this turn and goes to the ice thing. Yeah, he needs to make some plays, but like you can see, Tango is just so bulky. It's our parent can get frozen, it does nothing at all. I can just go for the safe Giga Drain right here. Scare this thing out again. He gets speed boost. Yeah, blah blah blah. blah. Things going on. He withdrews Bruce, and yeah, I think I would do a double out here predicting. Yeah, right, I double out here predicting the Mega Venusaur and go out into my Cobalion because I can easily take an Ice Fang because that's basically the only thing he would do for me. So that's. that's I did one play. Hey guys, that's, that, I did not play safe the whole time. But yeah, I can go into Cobalion here, and th because this is my Sleep Potter, um, Tangrove doesn't like to take a hit from the Mega Venusaur. I can just go for the Flash Cannon here, get some get some decent damage on it because it's mostly most likely. Mo uh, more physically bulky than especially bulky, and I actually take some decent damage. I get a defense drop, which won't matter because uh, he can just put me asleep. But it did matter because he missed the sleep powder. So this is the drop which comes into play because now I can go for the second flash cannon and get even more damage on him, which I do right here. Go for the flash cannon, get some more. If, if he missed enough sleep powder, Mega Venus was basically dead. But he goes for the sleep powder and hits this time. But uh, I decide this time not to play around with wall switches because I don't want him to synthesis for free. I switch right out into my slow king scam out with the psychic. Get some leftovers recovery, blah blah blah. But yeah, if he goes for synthesis here, I don't want him to make that for free, so I go into my slow king so I can scan out again with a psychic. But Hex comes into play uh, once again because he gets fully paralyzed, which. I mean, that happens with Thunder Wave. <laughs> if you're parrot, you can't get fully paralyzed. He withdraws now, predicting my psychic, predicting, switching out into his Bruce. So, yeah, Shadi is, <laughs> is making some plays here. He, he predicts that, goes into the Shabido. I go for the psychic. I switch out once again into my uh, into my Tangle because that's my switch. He predicts that once again. So, two plays in a row for Shadi. He goes into his into his Alakazam, which will do a lot with every, anything to my uh, Mega Venusaur because it's not specially bulky in any way, it's only physically bulky. And yeah, I have to switch out once again into my Assault Desters uh, Slow King. And you know what? Shadi predicts that once. Uh, Sh Shady predicts that once again he goes for the Shadow Ball. So he is making plays all over the place. But it just doesn't matter. Because you see, the Shadow Ball does about 30%. I can go for. I can live an hour and go for Shadow Ball on my own. And it's so sad to see that all the predictions and stuff like that Shadi is, do uh, Shady is doing right now. It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all because I'm just. I'm just too well prepared for everything he has. I go for Shadow Ball, break his sash. Another Shadow Ball will kill me, and I want to keep my um, want to keep my Slow King. So I predict the Shadow Ball. He has no way he's going for a Focus Blast on my Slow King when he die would die to Shadow Ball. So I go to my Mega Evo, which will resist the uh, Shadow Ball. I can scare him out with a Sucker Punch and something like stuff like that. He goes for Shadow Ball lead, does nothing at all, and gets a useless drop, just like I got a useless drop with the uh, Mega Alakazam. So we are tied on that on useless stuff too. So, yeah, I go for the Sucker Punch here, no need to play around. He sprints out into his Mega Venusaur to maybe thought he could live a knockoff, which he probably can, but what he's now definitely in range for Zen Headbutt, so I just go for that and kill the Mega Venusaur. And this is basically cleanup time for Mega Absolute here. He only has Shabido left, he only has Jirachi left, he only has uh, Alakazam left. 
Alakazam has a sash broken, Shapiro is in range for Sucker Punch, and Jirachi is scarfed and has enough damage so it will die to Sucker Punch too. He indeed goes into his Bruce here and yeah, tries some protect protection and he can dodge my Sucker Punch. So he goes to protect the first time, so he can outspeed me of course, and maybe you know, because I don't need to go for Sucker Punch there. I probably should have gone for Sucker Punch there, I outspeed him either way, saves some Sucker Punches. But yeah, he goes for Protect once again, trying to dodge my Sucker Punches and trying to, because I only have 7 Sucker Punches left, here at that point I only have 5 left, and I thought, come on, man, play Sucker Punch 8 times. I only need 2 Sucker Punches more for Alakazam and Jirachi, and even in case I run out of them, my Tangrowth and my Slowking beat both of them, so I have no need to, like, preserve, uh, try to predict him around here and lose my Mega Absol. I can just click Sucker Punch all, all, all over the place and at the third try I actually catch the Mega Shapido on an attack. So I can just go for Sucker Punch here on the Jirachi. Even if he plays, plays now some double switches to dodge uh, Sucker Punches, it won't matter in the end because I have still have Tangrowth and Slokin in the back. I have no need to predict that. And yeah, he goes into Alakazam and yeah, now it's over. That's four kills for Mega Emo at the end for the cleanup, uh, cleanup Absol. And this is the 5-0 victory for the Borussia Dortmund over the New York Mankeys. I defeat Che. And yeah, let's go back into this. Whoop. Let's go back into this. Um, yeah, that's a great win for the Borussia Dortmund. We won 5-0 versus the New York Mankeys. That's the big number we are definitely ahead in the, in the playoff race in the division right now. Um, this battle was basically a perfect example of what happens if your team building was on point. This time it was on point. It, I basically predicted what Shadi brought and my regenerator core, even though Mega, um, even though Mega Absol got 4 kills on this match, it's definitely not the MVP. The MVP of this match are Tangrove and Sloking. They handled his whole team so well, it was it was amazing. But I'm sorry that I did not make any fancy plays, but like I already said, I didn't need to make any. The team building was... It, this is a perfect example of proper team building. If you team build right, you don't need to make any plays. You can just play safe and yeah, still keep rolling, keep rolling. I'm sorry for Shady, he, he was definitely predicting me but it, ju it just didn't matter and it's it's sad to see for him but it's great to see for me but yeah that's all for this match the Buster Duffer got a huge win and I'm definitely at the top of that even if uh, A-Drive would need to win 6 over versus Fizz to basically come uh, come uh, look to tie with us at the top spot and I don't think he will do that because Fizz is still a great player he may win but he will not win in 6 old manner I don't believe that but yeah, that's all from this match. Definitely check out Shady, uh, like in the team builder he said, he's, he's the biggest guy, I'm the smallest guy. I'm still shouting him out, he has great content, I don't, maybe you, for some weird reason, you never heard of Shady here. But if you so, definitely give his channel a look, even though it's only for watching his side of this battle, that's already worth it. And I, I'm sure you will love his other content. So, that's enough for the shout out. Uh, hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the description. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. And yeah, that's all from me. I will see you for next week of the GBA. And yeah. Till then, ciao!